course, but for the especially for the regulars that you're seeing, okay, your harem, your rotation, and also any that you choose to make a monogamous girlfriend, okay, or your, your number one or number two slot if you're running a rotation. So I'll go into that. Uh, please like and subscribe below if you have not already. Press the notification bell for new updates on videos Sunday through Thursday. So what we see, sadly and unfortunately, across the seduction and, and pickup world is a bunch of these gurus, okay, and I, and I will be, the roasts are coming back regularly. I have a whole bunch of stuff in the works here, and those will be a regular part of the channel weekly as well as infield videos where I'm showing uh, hidden camera video and audio of pickups. So I, you've heard me say this many times before. I respect close to no one in the industry. And people are like, you're arrogant. How can everyone be terrible? I will, I will show you with lots of backup and, and proof why everyone is indeed terrible. And I hear this constantly from week to week, and I have been since 2012, of all the failings and, and lack of results that guys get despite purchasing a lot of digital products from other coaches, despite taking a lot of live training. Now, the reason why I'm starting this live with this nailing on the coaches here is that lots of these guys that claim to be the gurus and claim to be the experts, okay, like Todd, for those of you that have seen my Todd V dating video, he's dating an average looking chick, okay? Possibly below average, depending on who you ask, okay? Depending on your standards there, objectively. But this is not material for a guru to be dating, okay? And you, and you see this all across the board, like RSD Brad, who left RSD, he's, he's wiped up with some fucking average blonde chick, okay, in Chicago. You, you see this all over the board, okay? Like, these guys are settling down, dropping out of the game, okay? Well, not, most of them weren't doing shit in the game to begin with, but they're, they're dropping out of the game for, like, these run-of-the-mill, like, fucking trash basically average chicks, you know, or even if it's like a seven or, or an eight, it's it's not that big of an accomplishment. I've had a pretty strict rule for, I've had seven monogamous girlfriends, give or take, there's probably a little more, but some of them were, were pretty short lived. Um, but I make sure like the girl is a nine or higher, like if I'm dropping out of the game, so to speak, a lot of times I'll cheat on those girls anyways, not, you know, not that you should do that or, or I'm proud of that. But that is like my minimum standard for looks, okay? I preferably want the girl to be like a 9.5, okay, if, if I'm gonna make her. And that's what I have is my, when I'm running rotations, which is almost all the time and not doing monogamy, um, I'm running six to 12 girl rotations. As of, you know, the past year or two, it's, it's gotten more out of control, eight to 15 girl rotations, um, which becomes, you know, starts to fully take over and monopolize all your time. But my point here in this video is, you know, these gurus are getting average chicks as they're as locking in. I'm talking about just for like the common man. Don't fucking settle for these average chicks. Like don't, you know, don't get it in, in, in singles personality. Like for me to, okay, I'll go get my own standards. For me to lock in to a chick monogamously, she has to be bisexual. It's kind of like a make or break right off the bat. Okay, because I'm going to have to, she's, I'm going to want threesomes to keep new variety in. And there's probably me cheating going on on the side anyways, I'm an asshole, whatever. But uh, she has to be, you know, not even just like barely a nine. Like I want her to be closer to a nine five range. Okay, you can't expect perfection of the girl being a pure 10. And lots of girls that are like close to a pure 10 come with a whole other fucking set of problems that I don't want to deal with. So that's on the looks component. Then I want to have like tons of chemistry with the girl. I want her to be sweet. I want her to be feminine. I want her to be cool. I want her to not be bitchy. I want her to be intelligent. So like, you know, as an exercise, write down a list of the shit you want in a woman. And most of you, you know, I'm not trying to insult my audience here, but I, I, I interact with a lot of you. And a lot of you are having trouble, you know, even landing the average chicks, which is fine. But um, when you have some success at this, which if you follow my, my shit, and if you want to follow it if you want to like really 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 jump start things and short circuit the whole process uh go with a live program of the digital products but you know once you start having some options 
don't just like drop out of the game or like settle down with like a, a girl that's like a six out of ten or like a six and a half or seven out of ten. Like, why would you? And I, like, when I like rip on like Todd's girlfriend being average and stuff like that, guys are like, "Oh, well, it's on. It's, it's what's on the inside that counts." And the, yeah, 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 that's all well and good. There's plenty of other cool chicks that have an awesome inside as well that are hot. Okay, so it's like if you if you were trying to make money, and you went to gurus that are like, "Yeah, like here's how you make millions of dollars, right?" And they're fucking broke. Okay, or someone that's like. Here's how you do all these martial arts and he can't fucking win a fight and he's getting his ass kicked. All right, so first of all, it's a huge fucking laughable shame that most of these gurus settle down with average chicks. Okay, and that's a known fact. I have <laughs> I have pictures of most of most of their like main chicks or, or their girlfriends, not to sound like a fucking just saying that makes me sound like a fucking stalker weirdo. Just from, you don't understand, like, I've, I've been around the community since 2012, like the suction dating community. People send me all kinds of fucking pictures and gossip and this and that. And there's a lot of, like, weird guys in the community that are just monitoring everyone's social media and all this. You know, it's not not even in a creepy way, but they're just, you know, they're just, like, they don't have anything else better to do. And they're like, oh, look at this dude's new girlfriend. And what, what the fuck? Like, I was listening to some of his pickup advice and he's dating a four. It's like, yeah, welcome to the fucking world of you know, gurus proclaiming to be gurus that fucking suck shit and are dating pieces of trash. So, you know, <laughs> the, the the takeaway here is, like, I'm, I'm my st like regular rotation, right? I want the chick to meet a certain criteria of physical hotness and also personality characteristics, okay? And don't shoot for the the sky so to speak like don't like don't make your standards like unreachable uh based on your level so, so you're gonna have to kind of drop your standard like i'll have guys that come on, on my programs that are like yeah you know i only want to bang girls that are nine plus on this program and in life in general i'm like yeah no shit like doesn't everyone i'm like have you ever banged a nine before no have you ever banged an eight before no have you ever banged a seven before no have you ever banged a six before and, you know and, and it's like you can't, I talk about in other videos about leveling up, like you can't just go from not getting anything or getting the occasional below average fat chick to having your choice of a, of a collection of stunners, okay? So, and it's, yeah, so I don't want to take away to be from this video like, oh, I can't, you know, get committed with, with any girl because she's not a nine and, I, and nines are what I'm most attracted to. Yes, but you need, make make your fucking skills better, right? Like, Having just like making more money, right in the in the business world, gives you more financial freedom. Then you can travel, you can do whatever you want, you can live the life you want. Same goes with this. When you have better skills at this game in pickup and seduction, then you have more of your choice of chicks. Okay, you can be picky. Like I cut nines out of my rotation when they start acting up. Okay, like ironically, that makes them want you more. Okay. And that'll be a topic for another video. Um, but, you know, set reasonable, but here's how you can do it. Look at the, look at like the best hotness and personality you've gotten over the past three months, let's say, and shoot for something close to that. Okay. Always be trying to get hotter chicks. Always be trying to get chicks that are fucking cool and that you have lots of chemistry with and you have a great time with, but you know, don't be just fucking, first of all, don't bang chicks you're not attractive to, like, uh, you're not attracted to, like, I see that mistake all over the community, like, guys are like, oh, well, you know, like, I've been striking out, and I'm in a, I'm in a dry slump, or whatever, I'm just gonna bang this fat chick, I, I think she's really gross, but, like, at least I'm gonna break my, my slump, or at least, I'm... no, don't do that, like, you're, you know, have some fucking dignity, <laughs> but fat girls have feelings, too, like the, the point is, that's what my mom says. Uh, the point is, is like, um, <laughs> I often wonder what a lot of you, a lot of you think about my character here. I just speak from the heart. So, my, the thing is here, like, 
if you are banging chicks you're not attracted to, first of all, it's not going to be an enjoyable experience. So why the fuck would you do that? Second of all, it's going to make you like feel bad about yourself and kind of like be down in that level where you're like, oh, I, I just fuck fours. That's what I do. Okay. Or if you're Todd, oh, I just get into multi-year relationships with fours and have a baby with them. Um, <laughs> fucking Todd. Uh, yeah, it's, it's insane. I, I can't count the number of clients that have hit me up in the past like month, just all bitching that they didn't get shit out of Todd's program. And they all feel fucking ripped off and like they wasted their time and all this shit. And he's, he's masquerading as like this ultimate expert. I already, I already ripped into him in a video, so I'm not going to go down that road again. Um, so, you know, set kind of a range of standards. Like for me, I try to keep like the bare minimum, like looks threshold of like seven, five for growing my rotation. Okay. I try to keep most of them like eight, eight, five or above. And then the top two or three, those are going to be like, you know, high eight, low nine range. Okay. And, the, and usually the hottest one I have the most chemistry with, that's my main chick. And they're still hot new ones that I have good chemistry with that are coming in and contending for the main spot, etc. So have standards. Um, I'm not sure how many, this is kind of like a quality problem. I'm not sure how many of you are, are, are dealing with who you should cut out of your rotation or who you should allow, allow in your rotation, or if you should bother banging a chick, but one simple way to keep your quality high, both your physical quality and also the personality characteristics quality is to only put leads into the funnel, so to speak, which means only approach and only get numbers from chicks that are above that threshold. So when you're out, okay, don't, don't have strict rules. If you're uh, chicks out as fuck, damn. Or like the tight pants, the fucking bottoms rolled up. Okay, so if you're like currently not even able to get sevens, don't out, you know, out whatever the, the term is, like don't, uh, shut yourself out from getting any chicks. If you're in the fives and sixes range, that's fine. Work your way up. But for guys that are more intermediate to advance at this, stop approaching girls below a seven. Okay. Don't swipe girls below a seven on Tinder. And then all of a sudden you won't have these decisions to make. Oh, should I fuck this girl? She's only a six. She's only a 6.5. Cause you didn't even bring a girl like that into, you know, the leads working as an option. So, that's about it. The, the, the big takeaway is have physical and personality standards. It's a fucking disgrace in this industry that you have all these gurus and, and coach gurus and coaches running around dating average or, or just full out busted chicks as, as you know, it's, these are the models for these impressionable young men and it's just, it's disgraceful and it's sad. So, you know, as, aspire to fucking get the best chicks in the game. That's, that's why we're in this. And you're going to need to boost your skill to do that. Okay, you can keep fucking around and doing what you've always done, or you can fast track it, you know, receive proper training and start dating the most beautiful chicks. The choice is yours. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe below. Leave comments, like, share with your friends, etc., etc. I will see you guys in the next video.